We all have our vices. Unfortunately, mine was gambling. If you were to ask my parents how I was as a child, that I was a pretty easygoing child. I didn't really have any issues, no trouble at school, never had detention. I was just an individual kid that loved his video games and loved going out and having fun with his friends and playing sports. Now yes, as a child, I was certainly an easy kid. I had honestly worked since the day I was 13. I graduated from the Little League kids playing baseball to actually having an opportunity to go to Babe Ruth and actually umpire Little League Baseball. Fast forward to high school where I was at one point even working three different jobs at the same time. But the day I turned 18, that all changed when I stepped foot into a casino and gambled for the first time. Gambling was different. Gambling was something that I could go into and earn an entire week's worth of pay, an entire month's worth of pay sometimes. But the thing is, the house always wins, meaning that they always have an advantage regardless which game you decide to play. My vice was blackjack. I'd sit down on a blackjack table and play as much as I could. Even uh, in the early days of me being a teenager or late teenager, it would be just simply a paycheck, a couple hundred bucks, to the span of earning thousands in the military in my early 20s and spending my entire check. We're talking even to the point of going to get a payday loan in my late teens or going and actually getting a full personal loan while in the Marine Corps and gambling the entire thing on a Saturday afternoon and then spending the next week or two wondering how am I gonna be able to eat? How am I gonna be able to actually afford to get a haircut that's required weekly in the Marine Corps? I still couldn't tell you that there was one specific reason that made me quit, but I can tell you I am so thankful that I was able to get over it. But that's the thing, not all of us get over it. Not all of us get over our vice, not all of us get over our addiction. And truly, the main reason I believe I was able to get past this and continue to move on with my life is I understood that I do have an addictive personality. The only way that I'm gonna be able to subsidize this gambling addiction was if I found another addiction. The reason why I'm sitting here filming this house is because I became addicted to real estate. I became addicted to the grind, the hustle, the work ethic, the discipline that was instilled to me while I was in the Marine Corps and the opportunity that real estate has in my life. It is absolutely changing my future and where I'm headed. So understanding my addictive personality. You know what, I'm twisting it around to the point where now I'm using it for my own good. I'm not saying that it is perfect to work your ever living butt off every single day and never have a social life. But I knew that the social life that I wasn't having at the time was going to allow me to have a family. It was going to allow me to have a wife and spend time with them in the future. So that sacrifice that I made, that addiction that I was able to then incur after my gambling addiction of whether it be the gym, whether it be games, whether it be real estate itself, it allowed me to project that addiction into another outlet. And now I'm sitting inside of a house that I bought for 620 and it's worth about 900,000. But that's not it guys, I have a handful of homes that total to about $5 million in real estate. I got my W-2 income for my real estate company and all the individuals that I employed. I had a gross salary for all of my employees close to $400,000. That means in the span of 2022, I employed enough individuals, including myself, to pay out $400,000 in salaries. These are the moments that really have me looking back. 15 years ago, I had stepped foot into a casino and started to live a very, very miserable an addictive life, depression, suicidal tendencies, and just so much that I never want to even feel an ounce of what I felt during that time. So mindset to me, my mentality was just down. I was a negative person. I felt just a victim to anything and everything in life. Felt like life was out to get me regardless which direction I took. Felt like everything that I was trying to do always wound up with a negative result. Now I can tell you when I got out of this addiction, my head certainly wasn't still straight. It's taken me the last 10 years to really understand the addiction that I have and the struggles that I've gone through and the mind shift change that I've had to where now, waking up every day, I am excited to be able to go to the gym 
get into my morning routine, be consistent, and have a healthy lifestyle. On top of that, I'm excited to wake up every single day to provide value to folks in the Dallas-Fort Worth area or even across the country for whatever real estate needs they may so desire. And on top of that, all of the work and effort that I'm doing is allowing me to pour into you guys, to my YouTube channel, to educate, to help you learn and understand that there is so much more to life. There's so much more that can be out there for you but at the end of the day, your mental state and your vision is really what's going to dictate where you are in the future. At the age of 18, I could have never guessed I'd be sitting here today with the life that I have. And even at 23, when I felt like my life was given back to me, I still could have never imagined that I'd be doing what I'm doing today and living the life that I live. Don't give up on yourself, don't give up on your future, and keep pushing forward.